sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. That crust on you Next up, man, we always, we're always putting out the bass signal for the female MC. Yeah. True life. Sometimes we put up that signal and nobody answers. Nothing. But today we got a queen up in here, ladies and gentlemen, it goes by the name of Flo Kennedy. Welcome her to the show. How's it going, guys? Okay. Thank you for having me. Uptown kicking it. <laughs> How you doing? Where were you born and raised? Uh, born, bred, NYC, Bronx, New York, Uptown. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, man, you got... <laughs> yes, 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 that's what's up. Um, when did you yet. start? Like you, 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 you're, you're more of a hybrid, if you will. You're a spoken word artist. Yes, that's correct. Um, yes. I started off doing spoken word. I come from a spoken word background. Mm -hmm. Um, I started off around 11 years old. I've mm -hmm. been doing like performances for New York at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Um, I had did the New York Poetry Slam, the mm -hmm. like the New York Knicks mm -hmm. one no, 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 for no, Urban no, Word. No, yeah. yeah, that one over there, and then just like local open mics. So mm -hmm. I come from like a performance at on um, like background. Mm -hmm. So like the performance aspect is what is something that I had like formed at a very young age, mm -hmm. and um, I didn't get into music and into hip hop until I was about like 14, 15. 14 and yeah. 15. So you weren't even listening to hip-hop? No, I wasn't listening to music at all. So what was the first wow. like thing you gravitated towards in terms of hip-hop? Um, The very first song I heard was Lupe Fiasco's Kick Push. What a great thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah. that's going to shape and mold yeah. you. I know you got bars. <laughs> and then like from there, I started to like dig deeper into like a lot of Chicago artists so mm -hmm. that's when I got into Commons like mm -hmm. like Water for Chocolate was like oh. my first album I listened to him by um Kanye obviously yeah. Yeah. and then um I spent an entire summer listening to Lupe Fiasco's The Cool and yeah. learned everything from top to, to bottom yeah right. that was like my it's like my top yeah hip-hop album so from there I felt like um I got I gravitated more towards like the wordplay Okay. Of what he does, and that's why like I do a lot of lyricists. I'm like I'm a lyricist. Like I do a lot of um, <laughs> you know, a lot of wordplay is what I is what I like uh -huh. when I start off in the beginning. Um, but other than that, like pushing, like moving forward, um, I made sure that it wasn't more about the lyrics. Then I started to get more into the music aspect of it. Okay. Cause you know, sometimes I feel like it's, it's not all about like quote unquote, the lyrical miracle mm -hmm. aspects, mm -hmm. you know, uh -huh. um, you want to have, you want to know your stuff. You want to know your production. You want to, you know, be able to form a song and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. So, um, I moved to Atlanta two years ago. Yeah. Was there for like six months, broke as hell. Uh -huh, uh -huh. out there um you're not still it was, broke no it was like the okay. mm, you know okay. but <laughs> <laughs> but it was like the worst it was the worst time of my life because i moved to atlanta thinking that i would i would have a better um like a, a different outlook on yeah. music and a different outlook on spoken word and it was definitely nothing that i expected yeah. um out there it was no no, no shade to atl but yeah. it was like um i felt like they was trying to be like New York in a way, like, uh -huh. um, like, like very, like, I don't know. They seem like a, like a lot of posers out there uh -huh. that I didn't really like gravitate towards. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, it was just, it, I don't know. It was just like a, a, a bad time. So, um, from there, I just knew I had to really be on my grind. Like I just knew nothing would come to me. Uh -huh. Like after I left, Atlanta, I wrote my very first single from my last project that I dropped the heart EP called mm -hmm. Cream mm -hmm. and Cash ruined everything around me. I don't know. That was wow. just like Wow, that's mm. Yeah, it was just like uh <laughs> it was just like it set the tone. And Cass when I moved out to everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that's great. <laughs> and then I went when I moved back to New York, I knew I had to really be on my stuff. Okay. For sure. And then that's when I got introduced to Team Backpack. Team Backpack. <laughs> yeah. The Mecca. I yeah. love Team Backpack, yeah. man. Yeah. You, by the way, you know where they originated from, Team Backpack? Um, I believe it was Cali, right? Yeah, was, you know, any city in particular? Hmm. It, you know, it doesn't it doesn't dawn on me. I feel like Oakland. maybe Oakland, Oakland because yeah, 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 of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I knew you just wanted to throw that in there, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, she I'm, learns quickly. I'm, 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 she I'm, learns I'm, I'm, I'm quickly. start fighting it too. Flo, we need to start fighting it. <laughs> Flo, like Sway was saying, we really yeah. like to spotlight um, MCs who happen to be women. And even though every single person as an individual, their path is um, unique, mm -hmm. but it can be particularly different as a woman. So. Yeah. Image always comes up in conversation a lot right. of times behind the scenes and like looking at the way the game is, it feels like as a woman you have to either be ultra sexy mm -hmm. or you just gotta claim being a lesbian to like the fullest degree. Right. Have you run into those type of conversations? Um surprisingly I haven't yet. And uh, you know, um the first thing I do, like if anyone ever talks about, oh, oh, you're nice for a female rapper, I cut them off right there. Mm. why do I have to be nice for a fe female rapper? Why do I have to be categorized as a female rapper? You, you don't see anybody saying like, oh, Kendrick's is the, Kendrick is the new, is the best like male rapper out there, you know? So I feel like why conform to anything? Why, you know, like why why box myself in? I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't, I feel like I don't have to be sexy and dress a certain way and, claim being gay even though I am but you know that's not the first thing that's gonna like that's not the first thing people see mm -hmm. like I let the word speak for itself and that's all you that's all you should you know care about you know I'm not gonna conform to your to your statement I know it was a male dominated field and that's what I got myself into but no I'm not a female rapper I'm a rapper I'm with a, you I'm an MC. Kennedy, with you Kennedy. Give out your social media real quick so people want to get to know you better. Um, you can find me on um, Twitter at Floetic NYC. That's F L O E T I C N Y C, and Instagram at F K dot N Y C. The Panorama. The Panorama. Yes. What, what, what is that about? Um, basically, exactly what we touched on. Um, not being conformed. So, like, when you take a picture, you get a panoramic. Like, you can uh, have option to have a panoramic view. It's basically a stretched out outlook of everything around me. So it's me stepping out of that box. Hmm. Here it is, Flo Kennedy, 888-742-3345. Next MC to Flo, no pun intended. <laughs> Flo Kennedy, you ready? Let's get it. Let's get it. John Glass, drop that Ooh. beat on her. Ah. Beat's been fire. Ah. John Glass on the beat. Shout out to him. This <laughs> <laughs> shit is crazy. Yo. Mm. Check. Live from the wicked where picket fences exist in the mind of the ghetto. Fits in defending yourself, the fence when your mind's in the meadow. Head in the clouds, so finding the devil that sparked that match made in heaven and stars align when it's level. Uh. I'm just a rose who arose from the rose of Crete Cause the cons of the meta beyond that has sold their soul for the seeds Like a black sheep and with flows that is blowing O's to its feet I don't know if the feet when you're in this black hole trying to eat uh, Power to the people, power to the problem child and power render equal Peeping times like Uncle Tom is peeping and peering through the people Crimination nation natives niggas hanging from the needle or the thread of the blackest berry wonder Strangest fruit is evil, but the apple doesn't seem to fall too far up off this easel. Easy fall into the cellar, chatting politics and peaceful. Ain't no peace and peace is flying when it's aiming at your wrinkle. Not a fruit is evil. It's unattractive when niggas call me a female rapper. I spark a Lucy, I'm lucid dreaming of who's a factor. In fact, the phoenix is one who rises and loosely chapters it. Free my niggas, protect the souls of the youth he captures. So now the pendulum swings, Pendleton cat back, pin it down, rap facts in deep. Nigga, we all know music, proof that this shit ain't free. Truth that I do spit this freedom free in my wisdom to seize. Truth that I spit two flies with some tooth cries when I sing. Cooking that cook cold crack, cracking up crooks cold clean. Now back to the youth that he captured, back to the fruit that was fractured. Back to the time where the canvases were the new carrot catches carried and copy that. Sometimes I wonder why my vices and my vanity abandons me If sin is what we seek and what we plan to be My child is filled with Hennessy and lies Look into my lover's eyes Less is what she sees and then to my surprise I'm coming live with a mass appeal and a massive skill And I'm serving y'all niggas like Master Will That'll be all, Jeffrey, battling all deadly And if I fall, I hope you niggas don't all catch me shit But I hope you catch that drip And you will catch that fist And things will look pretty when I'm half past pissed 
fake smile with a half-assed kiss. Mwah. Yo, spitting gems like an amethyst. Amateurs could have handled this. But you catch that shit like. Oh, oh. They not wasting my time today. Boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's it's dope, and it's a lot to be said. You shared this very early on when you started speaking that um you didn't grow up listening to music, and I think that's su that was such a great thing for an artist like yourself because it freed you. Right. It. it I haven't mm -hmm. seen a lot of people come up here and uh, master a style like that, I would say, but it's, it's freed you. It just allowed you to be free every time you get on that microphone and express yourself clearly. Very dope. Thank you, Very I appreciate dope. that. That's Thank dope. you. That's for skill set, man. She dissecting that pocket. People be scared to dissect well, that pocket. Because they so, they they used to the trance. Yeah. You know, they learn right. the trance and right. they just... Yeah. <laughs> they poison, yep. Yeah, you Pick know. that pocket and, apart, boy. Yeah. With the, yeah, put yeah, the fingers yeah. on them, put the <laughs> piano. ODB fingers, you know, that's yeah, the ODB yeah, fingers. Put the fingers on the wrist and all that. <laughs> Good job. Thank Give you. Give out your social again. Thank you. Um, you can find me at um, Floetic NYC, F L O E T I C um, NYC at Twitter and F K dot NYC on Instagram. And you can follow me on SoundCloud at just Flo Kennedy. I have my project from last year called The Heart EP. Thank you. It's Sway in the Morning only on Shade 45.